girl by the numbers. You made cookies yesterday. You made my favorite. They're called lavender sables because we have fresh lavender coming from the garden. And I just smell like, um, like basil. Oh yeah, what's about this? I have my, my hook that I can use to work the tray because when this is hot, you don't want to, you know, grab it with your hands. So I have this hook so I can get the, the crane in and out of the fireplace. And the fireplace is so nice and large, we can have stew warming and we can have water getting hot for our tea. And we, of course, can put our Dutch ovens up here, very close to the fire, so that they can cook. So we really have a lot of modern conveniences. And of course, this big fireplace, when we have to do laundry, we're probably going to have to do laundry tomorrow, we can heat up a lot of water. And Father, again, was thinking, he is always thinking, think when it's, we have a cistern under the water right here, is the, is the door to the cistern. Do you know what a cistern is? No. It's a big, like, well, where water is um, gathered. Father, was thinking when he built the house, and the water that comes from the rain runs off into gutters and into a pipe and down into the system. So when we need water for doing the laundry or for cleaning, we don't want to drink it because it is kind of dirty. We get a drinking water from it. It's wow. very helpful that, uh, that we have so many children because you always need a lot of work to help our farm. So, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this house. Now, as I said, Mr. Hall's a farmer, but you know, when he built this house, he had many clever ideas, and I'd like to show you. Do you notice how these windows are slanted in here? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was his idea, and I think it's very clever. It allows more light to come into the room. Yeah. Now, in the winter, you know, we have those dark, very short days, so any extra light that comes in, well, I'm very appreciative to have that. So that was one of Mr. Hall's ideas. And then if you notice how beautiful our woodwork is, quite fancy, and this is all hand done. In fact, I'd like you to look at this mantle of the fireplace right here. It's quite fancy. So this room is the sitting room, as you might suspect. We sit in here in the evening when our chores are done. Now, as I said, Mr. Hall being a farmer, we know he must keep very accurate records. Seed he buys, what he plants, the time he plants it, the time of year what he sells, what he gets for the things. So he keeps a ledger with all of this information in it. So at night he does his book work. Now the children do their schoolwork. Perhaps you notice, as you came in your carriage, the schoolhouse down the road, just a bit down the road here. Well, I'm happy to tell you there are 50 children from the area who attend this school. And my two youngest are among those 50. And we're very, very pleased that there's a schoolhouse in the area because Education is most important. It's very important everyone learns to read and do their math and, and know what's going on in the world. So I'm sure education is very important to your family as well. Uh, now, one of the whole sons was, uh, was in the war of 1812 uh, and he was captured by the British and taken over to Fort Erie for a few days. Um, and then finally they released him and he came back to the States. So um, remember that when this house was built or shortly thereafter, there was a war going on in the area. So people were very nervous, very nervous. And after a while the ropes begin to sag. They get all stretched out and they sag. So we have this, it's our bed key or our bed wrench. And we go around and tighten all the ropes on the bed. And on top of that, we have our straw tip, and it has a cotton cover, but we don't grow cotton here on the farm, so every time we want to buy something like cotton cloth, we have to go to the mercantile in the Clarence Hollow. And the more things that we have to buy, the more costly it is, so we try to raise and grow everything we can here on the farm, or we try to barter with our neighbors. Now, it does have a cotton cover, but sometimes it has a linen cover. And if it's a linen cover, we can make it here because we grow flax here on the farm. Our flax field is quite short right now, so I don't think you can really see much. 
But we do make the linen cloth, and then we can have that. We don't have to buy it. Now, one problem with the straw is that we get bumps in it. So you've heard the expression, sleep tight, don't have heard that? Well, one of the things we do to try to uh, keep the bugs away is that we put lavender in our straw tip. We grow the lavender in our herb garden, and it's a very pretty flower, and then we dry it, and we can put it in our straw tip and help keep the bugs out. This is a wedge. Actually, metal wedges, iron wedges are called wedges. Wood wedges are called gluts. This is a small glut. We use that to take a log and split it in half. And we got a beetle. This is a beetle. And we would put our blunt at the top of the log and hammer that down longer and longer through that log. And if we had five or six or seven or eight of these blunts, the whole length of the log, we just go from one to the next. And we'd eventually break that log in two. And then you can clean it up to make a beam. Broad axe. Use the broad axe. Call it a broad axe because the blade is so big compared to, say, a regular hatchet or a regular axe, which this would have a small blade. But this is designed to make a nice square cut in that log so that you would have a beam you could use in your house or your barn. And what the farmer would do is put his left leg against the log, and just chip right down the side of that log, and make it square. Then he'd turn the log over another side. Eventually you have all four sides and you have a beam he could use in his house or his barn. That would be just like the ridge pole that we saw yes. upstairs, right? Yeah. You're Justice. And Justice was a brick maker. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, during the War of 1812, the British burned the city of Buffalo except for three buildings. All the rest were made of wood and they burned, they, they burned the villages of Buffalo. But you were a brick maker. You kind of came along just in time to help rebuild Buffalo after the War of 1812, right? I think I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I have the second most children besides Collie and Warren. You certainly do. Look at how far away. Well, well. <laughs> you know, many of your children were farmers or were married to farmers. Uh, one, cho one of my children wasn't a farmer, and that's Ferdinand. Because he was a? Um, veterinarian. Veterinarian, which is... You know, I mean, working with animals, probably worked with uh, farm animals, yeah. Sophia was an, an abolitionist. Anybody know what that is? No. It comes from the word abolish. Which is it? Who, who, yes, who helps okay. slaves, who wants to get rid of slavery. So helping help slaves move, like, uh, run across the border to Canada. She kind of, like, sends them to a house, and then she kind of... Uh, underground Railroad, she, she um, takes people down the Underground Railroad and kind of, there's a flag at a house, mm -hmm. and then she puts them there, mm -hmm. she'll say, you'll be safe here, keeps bringing them to some houses, and the house will bring them to somewhere else, yeah. and they'll just keep going on until they get to until they get up north, and, and many of them across the border to Canada. Right, that was called the Underground Railroad, and it could be a flag, or it could be a quilt on the clothesline, or some sign that let them know that this was a safe place to be and that they could stay. You know, they talked about the Underground Railroad being part of the Hull House being part of it. And somebody said there was, you know, a long time ago that there was a tunnel from the barn to the to, to the house. There isn't and there wasn't. But it was it would not be unusual if it would be reasonable to think that the Hull House Hull family would help slaves. I think that they if they could, they could have hid, hidden them in the barn or in the in the Garrett, you know, um, so it, it, they could have.